In this video, we're going to turn this electric 220 pump into this fully off grid solar pump running on nothing but the power of the sun. Stay tuned and look at the show notes below for all Good parts deal. and prices. Proof works. <sighs> so we're early February right now. Obviously, it's not summertime. It's February 5th. Uh, I'm going to replace all this back here and make it look nice. Put the solar panels up there. It should be a pretty good project. Uh, trying to make this pool go totally off grid. And so this is the first step with this uh, uh, Viver pool pump. It's a 72 volt, 900 watt pool pump. It's supposed to work continuously with nothing but the power of the sun. So here's the beautiful pool pump. Like I said, 72 volts, 900 watts, using nothing but solar panels during the day. It's 100% off grid. So this is the pump that allows me to do that. So first step in, next step would be to get the panels and hook it all up. So stay tuned. Okay, on my way now to pick up my solar panels, I'm going to get three, 370 waters. Uh, so that would be, I think, the VOC or the open circuit uh, voltage would be 41, somewhere around 40 to 41 volts. So I've got a string three in series. Uh, so when those are in series, what I've got somewhere around close to 120. Uh, volts DC to where it'll push the uh, pool pump pretty easy. So I'm hoping these will work and I got them for a great deal. I, I went on Facebook Marketplace and got these. So, but yeah, for that I've got to go get them and they're about three, three and a half hours away in some of my storage building. But, it, you know, you can find all kinds of good prices if you just look hard enough. So we're on our way to do that. So here's the three solar panels I just picked up and we're going to show you how to wire them in series which open voltage is somewhere around 40 volts so it should give me a max of 120 volts in series DC and it'll go through the solar charge controller and go through the pump and I'm getting ready to set the pump up for this first test that we're going to do. Okay, I'm going to leave this unattached right now. This is the main positive that goes into the solar controller. And that would attach to this MC4 connector. So I'm going to leave that unhooked until I'm ready to start. Okay, this is how they connect together. Very simply, they just plug into there. And so that's a negative going to a positive negative going to a positive and that's what puts these in series okay now i'm at the next one negative to positive can't mess that up that's how it is and then the negative comes out and goes into the solar controller so let me hook the rest of it up and we'll be ready to start. Okay, she's all ready to go. I got the just lines in and I'm going to try to pump it out that way. And I know I'll probably have some leaks, but I uh, just want to test the proof of concept. And then I'll get everything buttoned down when I put it over there. So here goes nothing. Let's see if it works. Okay. 
Okay, I hear it's doing something. All right. There it goes. Good deal, proof works. Solar panels pumping out the water like it should, using nothing but the sun. Okay, I uh, built this pergola to put these panels in place. Again, they're 370 watts as we just described. VOC is 41 volts, so together in series they make 120 volts. I've got these facing due south, which is how you have to do it if you're in the northern hemisphere of the United States. Uh, if you're in the southern hemisphere, you place it due north. Uh, I don't have them tilted at the optimal. They're supposed to be tilted at, uh, if you're on the parallel, the latitude line you're on, uh, I'm on 38th parallel and obviously I'm not going to put them at 38 degrees. But optimally, you're supposed to put them close to the parallel that you live in, on. So, just wanted to go a mere 10 degrees, that's plenty enough. The sun hits it uh, starting at about 7.30 in the morning, going all the way to about 8.30 in the summer months. So, that is the solar setup. Pergola holds it great. And so I'm really proud of this. I've got a little bit more to do on it, but we're getting there. Uh, at 370 watts, I only had to buy three panels and they were only around a hundred dollars a piece. I have a link in the description so you can get the same ones that I've got because these make the most sense. Instead of getting two to every one of these, uh, that would be, you know, 185 watts or something like that. You can just buy three at a hundred some dollars and uh, that more than enough powers it, as you can see down below. Well, underneath here, you've got the first connection of the positive that's coming out to the solar controller that's coming right there, going down and going down into the solar controller of the positive. Then as you get to here, there's the negative of the first panel right there. And that is screwed in, or that is put in with the MC4 connection right here from uh, negative to positive, negative to positive, and then the negative comes out right here. Goes down, I'm gonna fix all that mess uh, when I get this done. But uh, then they both, the positive and negative, go into the controller, and that's what gives it the power. Okay. First thing I need to do is I need to get right in the middle of this because I've got to cut this off. I hate to do this because I've got to splice it together. unions with the red hot glue and make sure that it's the one that melts it's got to be really hot it can't be the medium or the other one because uh, it just won't hold the seal very well and for pools you need the hottest stuff you can get so I'm going to use this today so I'm just going to go up a little ways with this first one Okay, here I wanted to show you the connection of these pumps. Uh, what I've done is just put these in series with each other. Uh, I got a branch that's coming off the main entry where I could turn the valve on or off. Turn on the pump. If I turned on this electric 220 pump, it'll push it 
through this check valve onto the sand filter and this valve will check it going down this way its flap will stop and then on the solar pump as it's running 7:30 in the morning already it'll push us up out through to the sand filter so you can see it's on it's working it comes up with the sun up goes off with the sun down and I've been real pleased with it so far okay guys very simple how to wire up the Viber pump if you look at to the left to the right you'll see that left red wire that is the positive from the solar panel the black wire that's next to it is the negative from the solar panel then you have uh, the pump wires that are three wires coming out of the pump the brown one there is labeled as U the blue ones labeled as V and the black ones labeled as W so that's how you hook those up brown blue and black and then over here the far right you just short those last two together because this is normally a well pump and that's a sensor on that showing how deep the water is and it cuts it off if the water is not there so you just short those two together actually mine came from the factory already shorted so uh, yours probably will too so that is how you wire and that is what the solar controller inside looks like Okay, now for final cost, savings, and then return of investment on this project. Starting with the solar pump, the cheapest price I could find, I put a link in the description below. It was $236 at the time of filming this. Now for the solar panels, I searched all over and tried to find a link that you could have them shipped to you. And I did find one, it was on an eBay affiliate link. And it was around the same price that I bought it for, so around $100 a piece for a 370 watt 40 VOC, 40, 41 VOC, and that is exactly what you need. Next, I had a little bit of PVC pipe to buy. Uh, that was probably around $9 or so. Uh, the glue wasn't that expensive, maybe $8 and something. And I just went ahead and said $50 for the PVC. So my total cost, just counting the pump, the solar pump and the solar panels, was a total of 586. With the pergola build, which I did myself, and all the labor was mine, uh, the total cost of all this together would have been about 1,250 dollars. So to estimate your return of investment on a project like this, the average pool pump that's on grid, if it's a 120 volt pool pump, it usually uses about a dollar 75. Uh, of energy a day. Uh, the average 230 uh, volt pull pump would use about three dollars a day. So using those numbers uh, which is pretty average, pretty standard, uh, you would get anywhere from 75 to 90 dollars a month for your 230 volt pump which is what I have. So using those numbers to estimate the return of investment uh, if my being very conservative, if my pump uh, made me or saved me $75 a month, then I'm going to pay for my uh, solar pool pump and the pergola build in about 16 months. So uh, somewhere about a year and four months, this thing will be making money for me. So I, that's very acceptable. 
If you live in California or some of the higher energy states, you may need to see how much quicker this thing will pay for itself. Uh, so if you're in a high energy state, this is a no-brainer. Again, please read a little bit in the show notes below because I do mention uh, in your electric cost and the area that you live in and how to figure the return of investment. I also talk about different solar panel combinations because a lot of people may have a couple 200 watt panels and then you want to know how many more you need to buy. All that's listed and copied from the manual. Uh, I'm very proud of this project. Be the solar pump has behaved better than I thought it would. I've yet to have to turn on the electric pump. I don't suspect you will either as long as there's sunshine over top of your head and you have the right solar panel combination. This thing's going to churn out everything you need all day long, at least for 10 hours. Uh, it's well worth it. It pays for itself very quick. If you're in a high energy state like California or the West Coast, you're going to love this thing because it's going to save you money quickly. and It's going to pay for itself and then it's going to put that money back in your pocket. So uh, check all that out in the show notes and you can get a little bit more information there. Thank you for watching and I appreciate it very much. And when it gets dark outside, it just puts itself to sleep.